In this video, I'm going to do gel overlay on my right hand because it's definitely time to do a new one. And also, I will show you a super easy way to do abstract marble watercolor looking nail art that is so simple, you can even do it with your non-dominant hand. Coming up! Hello guys, Anastasia here. This is my right hand. It's been three weeks and I have gel strips by Gelsey on them, so it's time to take them off. And the easiest way is to sock them off. I filed off the glossy top coat already, so now I'm going to use the acetone and wrap them with cotton saturated with acetone. Usually it's a fast process, about 8 to 10 minutes will be enough. Then I take them off and some nails just stay there in the cotton. I don't really need to do anything. With some nails I need to slightly push it back with the orange wood stick. Do not apply too much pressure if you feel like the product is not coming off. It is better to wrap it again and wait for a few more minutes. Wow, my nails are so long now and this is about the length where I do not feel comfortable having square shape anymore. So I'm going to reshape them into oval because this one just feels more comfortable, especially when you have natural nails. I think this is also a good length to switch to oval shape, so we're going to get rid of the corners and I will be using 180 grit file. I'm working with my left non-dominant hand and you can already see that my right hand always wants to help her. She's like moving on her way to the file and it happens all the time. I think it's like automatically because we work with our dominant hand all the time. So she just wants to help, right? Then I proceed to dry manicure. This is flame diamond bead. The speed is 16,000 rotations per minute. Then I'm going to slightly buff them with 180 grit file. We just took off the product, so I will do it very lightly. As I was reshaping and filing the nails, I ended up making them slightly shorter. Let's do an overlay. I will use dehydrator. I already have one by Jelen because I had their kit previously, so they have all the prep products that we need. When you apply dehydrator, make sure that you let it dry. And next step will be base coat. It is important to apply a thin layer and I will also show you how you can build the structure out of base coat. But the first one should always be super thin. This one is for adhesion. As you apply the base coat, do not touch the sidewalls or the cuticle. If you accidentally do it, it is better to clean it whether with a dry orange wood stick or with the tip of your glove, because if you will be using a brush, you may still end up flooding the sidewall a little bit. So make sure that all the surface is covered, then you need to cure it in LED for 30 seconds. If you have an even surface of the nails or maybe if they're too flat or you have long nails and you're worried that they may break and they need some extra strength, this is what you can do. Apply a second coat in the same way, super thin without touching the surrounding skin. Do not cure it, just leave it like it is. Then take a small drop of the base coat and place it right here in the center from the cuticle towards the free edge. And then using the same brush from the bottle, try to make it even. You can also turn your finger around and then cure it for 30 seconds. Now we have slightly thicker layer and our nails are protected. So now it's time to apply the color. I picked this lilac color. I think this is a great solution for summer. And also lately I just like everything purple and lilac. This color has a great coverage, so I think we just need only one coat, which is amazing news for me right now, because once again, I'm working with my non-dominant hand and applying the color on my right hand is quite stressful, especially when you're working with a pastel color. I'm using paper clip to push back my sidewall, so I will not accidentally flood them. I like the consistency of gel and gel polishes. It's like medium thick. I do not need to worry about flooding the skin. And also I think this is perfectly suitable for beginners. Then we cure for 30 seconds. I don't think we really need a second coat. So it is time for the design. 
I will be adding pink and purple mica on some nails and then I will show you an easy way to create watercolor marble with your non-dominant hand because it's like super easy. But first we need to add mica. These gel polishes do not have much of a sticky layer, which means I need to use a base coat. So I applied some near the cuticle and then using the brush, apply the mica where you would like to see it. On some nails, I added it near the cuticle area and on some nails, it will be mostly near the sidewalls. Cure for 10 seconds in LED, let's do the design. We will need base coat, apply it on the paper and then apply any color of your choice. I decided to go with a dark purple right on top of the base coat. Then fold it, roll it a little bit and open it up. Now what do you see? I think I see wings or maybe a fire. Then we take a stamper and transfer it to the nail. I think I will be cleaning the left part of this design because I only like the top one. So once again, this is what we do. Apply some base coat, color right inside, roll it just as much as you like. Take a stamper. If your stamper is new and you never buffed it, then you can also wait for a couple moments until the bubbles appear and you will see some kind of marble bubble looking design. By the way, I didn't have to do it over and over again. I just used the same stamper to transfer it on all of my nails because they are pretty short. And then you need to clean the remaining part from the skin. So it is recommended to use a liquid latex to protect it so you will not touch the gel. This is the design that we have and now we need to seal it with a top coat. This is a no wipe glossy top coat by Gelin. I'm using this paper clip once again to protect my skin. Cure in LED for 30 seconds and the design is ready. Design was really simple and fast as you can see and you can do it with your non-dominant hand for sure. Let me guys know what do you think. I enjoyed working with these products once again and now I have a new manicure on my right hand, finally. Thank you so much for watching. The links to the products will be in the description box as usual. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.